Out of the Park Baseball puts you in charge of your favorite Major League Baseball franchise as you guide it through unlimited seasons of championship chasing. Trade players, sign free agents, draft prospects, set lineups and pitching assignments, call the shots from the dugout, and much more. If GMs and managers can do it in real life, you can do it in Out of the Park Baseball. When you start a new standard game, you begin right before opening day of the current season. You can also go as far back in time as 1871 to replay baseball history, import a saved game from a previous version, create a new baseball world, or load a quick start. But we'll cover those options in another video. Let's start a new game. Setup is pretty simple. Start by choosing the leagues you want and naming your save. We'll leave Major League Baseball as the default, but when you enable leagues in other countries, players can move around the world as in real life. Then enter your name and choose your role. You can play as the manager, the GM, or both. In manager mode, you can only set your lineups and pitching assignments, decide strategies, make decisions during games, and so forth. If you want to also sign free agents, trade players, and do all those other GM things, you'll want to choose manager and GM. Or you can just be the GM and let your manager worry about dealing with players and strategies. Then choose your team and get started. The manager's office gives you an overview of your team. Each widget can be changed to show something else. Your team's homepage gives you an overview of the franchise, including your minor league system and your top prospects. It's a good way to measure the success of your entire organization. The lineup screen allows you to create your lineups against left and right handed pitchers as well as with and without the DH. You can also set a depth chart for each situation. On the pitching screen, you can set your starting rotation as well as dictate bullpen rolls for your relievers. You can also decide how those relievers get used. The strategy screen gives you a multitude of options for deciding how often you want to steal bases, put on the hit and run, employ infield shifts, use pinch hitters and pinch runners, favor lefty-righty matchups, and much more. You can set those strategies based on certain times of the game as well as the score. There's also a strategy presets dropdown that lets you quickly apply a specific philosophy without having to touch any sliders. You can then tweak it to your heart's content. The league home screen gives you an overview of everything happening around Major League Baseball. Out of the Park features a rich news system that delivers articles on a daily basis complete with a newspaper view that's better than any sports section. You can read about injuries, free agent signings, and much more. You might even come across a couple amusing storylines. The standing screen gives you a good snapshot of the American and National League pennant races and you can check out tons of stats anytime you'd like. Out of the Park tracks not only the usual stats but also war, OPS, isolated power, weighted on base average, FIP and much more. It's a smorgasbord for stat heads. As in real life, there's always a pool of free agents waiting to be signed if you have needs during the season and think you might find someone worth taking a chance on. As you peruse the names, notice the handy pop-up that appears when you hover over someone. If you find a player that you want to offer a contract to, just right-click on his name and choose that option. As in real life, you can set several options in your contract offer, depending on how aggressive you want to be when signing the player. Remember though that he could be fielding offers from other teams too, and if you insult him with a very low offer, he may refuse to negotiate further. When you're ready, submit your offer and see how he responds. Free agents like these guys will typically get back to you within a day, but during the offseason, top free agents could take a few weeks to respond like in real life. And don't be surprised if you end up in a bidding war for a top player. You can also go the tried and true route of trading to fill holes on your team or to begin a rebuilding process. Let's move ahead to the trading deadline and see what kind of deal we can swing. You can begin a trade a variety of ways. You can select another team and start adding players to the trading windows, or you can put players on the trading block and see what offers you get as the season progresses, or you can shop up to three players a day and get immediate offers from other GMs. As you plan for the future, you also choose prospects for your farm system during the annual June draft. We skipped past it to get to the training deadline, but through the magic of video editing, let's go back to that time of the year. Out of the Park includes real high school and college players for the June draft, and as in real life, the top ones can be tougher to sign. Some high school guys may even opt to not sign with you and go to college. They'll show up again when they're ready. That's a basic overview of running your team. Assuming you don't choose GM only mode, you can also call the shots from the dugout during games, deciding when to steal, when to pull your pitcher, and so forth. But we'll cover that in the next video. Thanks for watching.